I started when I was nine years old, you know, I don't really know what I was thinking when I was nine years old, I just want to try it. Felix Gonzalez, a freshman at Brumman High School who, at a young age, started his passion. I started boxing because, like, um, me and my dad were, like, in our basement, and then, like, he had these pads and then some gloves, and he told me to throw some punches, and I just liked it. And then he got excited and was telling my mom, I just got into it. Felix travels 45 minutes into the city throughout the week to complete his high-intensity practices. Me and my dad were just looking for gyms, and I guess my dad knew one of the coaches there because we saw his picture when we walked in, and I don't know, we just always stuck there. Although he had trouble stepping into boxing, sooner or later he started finding his way through the ring. At first, because I used to, like, when I was training and I had to spar, like, we'll be sparring with, like, kids that have more experience than me and always be, like, getting beat up. And I'm like, what am I doing this for, you know? I'm just getting beat up. And it just took time and I started liking it. Felix might be entering the ring alone, but he always has someone to support him. My mom, like, she's not like most moms. She's actually, like, encouraging me to keep boxing, and she doesn't really get worried when I'm fighting. But his mom isn't the only one cheering him on from outside the ring. I guess, like, my whole family likes boxing. Like, they always watch it, and they really get into it. With the support of his family, Felix has been accomplishing many great things. In 2013, I won the Silver Gloves National Championship. Winning is an amazing feeling, but the process of getting there can be harder than you think. It's a hard sport. It's a lot of sacrifices, you know, with diets and training and barely having time for school, always coming home late. I barely drink water because if I drink a lot of water, then I gain weight. Um, I have to eat little dinners before I go to the gym, like at four, and I still struggle to make weight. I still work out for like three and a half hours. And like it's not like it's just at the gym. Like I come home if I'm having like a bad day at boxing, then I have to hear it. Like coming home, you know, um, it's not just at the gym. As Felix was throwing punches through life, life started to swing back. I tore my rotator cuff when I was fighting in the junior gong gloves nationals. I like threw a punch and like like tore my rotator cuff. I hurt like so bad. And I couldn't even fight. Like that stopped the fight and everything. I think that was the scariest one because. From then, I didn't know if I could even box ever again. For the most part, it took me three months, but to completely heal, like, mentally and get back into boxing the way I was, probably a year. But even though life knocked him down, he didn't let that get in the way of his dreams. Even when I hurt my arm, I'll still go to the gym, you know, work out. I'll use this arm instead, and I'll just work on this arm. So when I get back into it, it could be sharp. Even when you stand back up, there will always be someone who will try to knock you back down. There's a lot of, like, hating in boxing, I guess you could say. Like, people would never want to see you do good. Like, people want to see you do good, but not better than them. And I guess, yeah, there's been people, but, you know, you just got to don't listen to them. You just got to keep doing what you're doing because one day you're just going to be where you want to be. Boxing became more than just a sport to him. It became his beloved lifestyle. For the most part, you know, boxing is like a stress reliever. You know, I go boxing, hit the bag, and get my mind off things. With boxing gloves in hand, Felix continues to look towards the future. Um, hopefully, I want to make the Olympic team in 2020 for Tokyo, and hopefully I get signed by a promoter so I can turn professional and keep going on my career from there. As Muhammad Ali once said, don't quit, suffer now, and live the rest of your life as a champion.